journey of self-discovery and enlightenment. I am your host, Zohar, and together we continue our exploration to the profound mysteries that lie beyond the ordinary. Welcome to the real door, die again. In this fourth chapter of our voyage, we dive headfirst into the enigmatic realm of love. Love, often portrayed in countless ways, is a force that can transform lives and touch the very core of our existence. But what is love truly? It is the romantic notion portrayed in movies and novels? Or does it possess a deeper, more profound essence? Join us as we unravel the layers of this intricate concept, exploring the stark contrast between societal love and the genuine, soulful love that resides within us. Love is not just an emotion, it is a state of being that harmonizes with ourselves and the universe. It is the key to unlocking our true potential, a path to awakening and a gateway to enlightenment. Chapter 4 What Love Is In the profound journey of self-discovery, Understanding love is akin to unraveling the universe's most intricate mystery. True love, a concept often misunderstood, is accessible only to those who dwell in the silent depths of their being, where the soul whispers its secrets. At the essence of your being lies pure love, the only vibration and quality your soul truly knows. When you connect with this core, this love envelops you, transforming your very existence. It is an aura, a divine energy that transcends the ordinary elevating you to a higher stage of consciousness. However, the love commonly perceived and propagated by society is a pale imitation, a distortion masquerading as the sacred. This societal love is rooted in greed, adorned with superficial charm, and is inherently selfish. It feeds and fattens the ego, reinforcing the false self, born out of desire, possessiveness and fear. This love is shackling, turning relationships into prisons of attachments and dependency. True love in its purest form, is liberating. It is antithesis of societal love, which is a contract of need and dependency, often leading to jealousy, conflict and pain. True love, conversely, is about giving without expectation sharing joyously without any demands. It is a celebration of the other's existence, not a contract of mutual exploitation. In your life, authentic love may have been scarce, 
replaced by societal constructs of what love should be. These constructs often stem for a lack of self-acceptance, leading to a cycle where one seeks validation and war from external sources. This search is futile, for true love can only blossom from a place of self-acceptance and self-love. False love, the product of societal conditioning, is riddled with expectations and demands. It functions as a dependency rather than a genuine connection. True love, in contrast, is considerate, attuned to the genuine needs of the soul rather than the wings of the ego. It nourishes the being, not the false self. To a step into the realm of authentic love, one must embark on a journey of profound selfishness, not in the conventional sense, but in prioritizing the discovery and expressions of one true nature. In this process, you must learn to love and accept yourself in your entirely freedom, your essence, and your unique expression. Love is the door for the beginning, not the end. Love, in its purest form, is an energy that serves as bridge, connecting the earthly with the divine within us. For the awakening of true being, the journey must begin from where you are. It requires a purified heart and a serene mind. But understand, love is not the destination, it is a pathway to a deeper awakening, a state of no mind where your divinity is unfettered and revealed. This understanding prevents the delusion of wrong enlightenment, a term of Buddha used to describe a misguided sense of awakening, love, when genuine, signals you that you are on the correct path. It requires discernment to not confuse love with passion, as they are distinctly different energies. Beyond love lies compassion a vibration closer to the true being, transcending the attachments of matter and mind. Existence can be simplified into three layers for better comprehension. Matter, the physical realm, where passion and the tangible reside. Mind the realm of thoughts and emotions, where love acts as a bridge, and spirit, the domain of the invisible and pure energy, home to supreme forces and the soul. It is in the spirit, the space of no mind, that one transcend body and mind to connect with the divine. Here lies the potential for immortality. Society, with its rigid structures and norms, has never encouraged the flourishing of authentic selves. Instead, it breeds judgment and criticism, as most individuals are coerced into living lives incongruent with their true selves. This discord creates an underlying misery, a sense of unfulfillment 
that no material possession can relieve. By embracing and accepting yourself completely, you begin to dismantle the societal constructs imposed upon you. This act of self-love, revolutionary, for it defies the system's attempts to mold you into a conforming entity. It is an act of rebellion against societal expectations, an affirmation of your unique place in the universe. In loving yourself, you lay the foundation for a profound understanding of existence. It is through this self-love that you begin to see the interconnectedness of all life, to experience the unity that binds the many into one. This realization awakens a sense of respect and reverence for the divine spark within you and within all beings. When love overflows from within, it seeks expression. It yearns to be shared. This love is not confined to the self. It expands, reaching out to others, creating ripples of joy, understanding and connection. It is in this outpouring of love that you find your true purpose, your true connection with the whole. Love, therefore, is not just an emotion, but a state of being, a way of existing in harmony with oneself and the universe. It is the key to unlocking your true potential, to blossoming into the fullness of your being. In this blossoming, you become a conduit of divine energy, a vessel through which the universe expresses its boundless love. Observe everything always. The mind, a societal creation, filters reality, preventing a clear vision that truly exists. Only in a state of no mind can one observe reality without these filters. Society has implanted this agent within you to keep you entangled with this web. By loving and observing yourself, you discover that existence has chosen you as its instrument. Each being has a unique potential and destiny. The blossoming of which brings unparalleled joy. The transformation and the ego. Transformation, the shift from ego to a state of non-ego, is a journey filled with agony and ecstasy. The old is familiar, comfortable, yet stagnant. The new is unknown, challenging, and where true growth occurs. The mind, a creature of habit, resists this transformation, clinging to the known. Yet, it is through this transformation that one experiences the richness of existence. Love is the catalyst for this transformation. It begins within your being extending outwards, dissolving the ego's structures of vanity, pride, and division. Humanity's collective neurosis 
is but a symptom of ego narcissistic stagnation, a disconnection from love and the source. When one clings to the ego, they disconnect from their true nature, leading to a state of mental turmoil. In this great cosmic university, the ego is an illusion. We are presence, souls, experiencing reality for the expansion of consciousness. You are not an isolated ego. You are an integral part of a supreme consciousness. Love begins this journey within, then extends outward an ascending ladder leading you back to your essence and to the oneness of existence. When you embrace love, you open yourself to the truth of your being, realizing your interconnectedness with all. This realization is the awakening from the dream the dissolution of the ego and the emergence into a state of unified consciousness. As we conclude this chapter on the profound concept of love, let us view it through the lens of hermetic wisdom. The hermetic principles, as elucidated in the teachings of thought, in the Amoral Tablet provide a unique perspective on love. In the Hermetic tradition, love is seen as fundamental force that permeates the cosmos. It aligns with the principle of correspondence, which states as above, so below, as below, so above. This principle reminds us that the love we experience within ourselves mirrors the universal love that flows throughout the cosmos. Love is also closely related to the principle of mentalism, which emphasizes the power of the mind. When we understand that love is a state of being, a mental and a spiritual state, we recognize its transformative potential. Love begins within our minds, radiating outward to shape our perceptions and interactions with the world. The principle of vibration teaches that everything is in constant motion, including love. Love is not a stagnant. It vibrates at a high frequency, connecting us to higher states of consciousness. When we tap into this vibration of love, we align ourselves with the divine order of the universe. Love, in its purest form, embodies the principle of polarity. It transcends duality and opposes, uniting the masculine and feminine aspects of existence. True love is a harmonious fusion of these polarities, a balance that brings wholeness and completeness. And finally, we come to the principle of polarity, which reminds us that love is a creative force. It is the source of all creation, birthing new possibilities and realities. When we harness the creative power of love, we become co-creators 
of our destiny. So, dear listeners, as we contemplate the hermetic vision of love, let us remember that love is not just an emotion. It is a cosmic force that flows through us and connects us to the very essence of existence. It is the key to self-realization, the path to enlightenment, and the bridge that unites the microcosmos of our individual experience with the macrocosmos of the universal order. Join us in the next chapter of Beyond the Veil, where we delve even deeper into the mysteries of existence. Until then, may love guide your journey and may you find the answers you seek beyond the